Hello friends, I welcome you all to doubt forum. In this question, this circuit is given and we are asked to find the value of this current I which is also passing through this 10 volt battery. So before I solve this question, I would like to explain little bit about the flow of current as well as about the biasing of diode. As we all know that the current flows from higher potential to lower potential. So if we consider this as to be a conductor and the direction of current is like this. So by looking at the direction of current, we can find out that this point is at higher potential than this point. So this is at higher potential and this is at lower potential. Then only current will flow from higher potential towards lower potential. So this is how the current flows. The second thing is about the diode. So this is the symbol of diode. In this symbol, this point is representing its positive terminal and this point is representing its negative terminal. So there are two ways a diode can be connected. The first one is the forward biasing. The forward biasing means the positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal is connected with the negative terminal. Or in simpler word, I can say that when the positive of the diode is at higher potential, then it's negative. This kind of biasing is called as the forward biasing. And in forward biasing, this diode will behave like a closed circuit or we can say it will act like a on switch. The other way of biasing a diode is in the reverse direction. It means the positive of diode is at lower potential as compared to its negative. So as we can see the positive is at lower potential and the negative is at higher potential. So this way of biasing is called the reverse biasing. And always remember that when the diode is in reverse biasing, it will behave like an open circuit or we can say it like an off switch. Now if we combine these two concepts that is the flow of current as well as the biasing of diode. Let me redraw a circuit. If this is a diode connected like this and if I say that a current I is flowing like this. If the current is flowing like this, it means this terminal is at higher potential than this terminal. Then only current is flowing like this. So if the potential of this point is higher and the potential of this point is at lower, it means the diode is in it in its forward biasing. So in forward biasing, this diode will behave like a closed circuit. So this circuit is nothing but like this. because the diode is behaving like a closed circuit. So this is the equivalent. Now consider a different scenario. Here the diode is connected like this. And if I am saying that the current is still flowing in the same direction, suppose the direction of current is like this. So from the direction of current, we can conclude that this point is at higher potential and this point is at lower potential. As we can see that this is the negative of the diode. So negative of the diode is at higher potential while the positive of the diode is at the lower potential. So this type of biasing is called the reverse biasing. And when the diode is connected in reverse biasing, this behaves like a open circuit. So equivalent of this would be like this. So no current will pass through this diode. So the value of current would come out to be zero. Now if we look at this circuit, let me first mark the current. So this is the current I which is entering in the negative terminal of this battery. So same current would also flow through the positive terminal. So this is the current I. Now at reaching at this point, this current will get divided. Let's say at I1 and in this branch it would flow like I2. Again here the current will further divide it. Let's say here it is I3 and in this branch it is I4. Now as we all know by simply looking at the direction of current we can find the polarity. So here the current is flowing like this. 
when the current is flowing like this we can say that the this point of diode is at higher potential than this point because the direction of current is like this so this point is at higher potential than this it means this diode is at forward biasing so diode d3 is at forward biasing now coming to this diode d2 as we can see the current is flowing like this so if we simply extend the marking of current like this so this point should be at higher potential than this point then only current is flowing like this so this way of biasing that is the negative terminal of diode is at higher potential than its positive terminal this way of biasing is the reverse biasing so diode d2 is in its reverse position now coming to diode d1 as we can see that i4 is flowing like this it means this terminal is at higher potential than this so this is the positive of diode which is at higher potential and this is negative of diode which is at the lower potential so from here also the diode d1 is in forward biasing as we all know that when the diode is in its forward biasing this will behave like a closed circuit while in reverse biasing it will behave like an open circuit so if we apply this diode principle in this circuit we can draw the equivalent so its equivalent circuit would be like this would be battery here there is a 10 ohm resistor then in this branch diode d1 this is diode d1 which is in forward biasing so it will behave like a closed circuit and then there is a resistor of 10 ohm value now in this I2 branch, this diode D3 is in its forward biasing. So this will also behave like a closed circuit. So this would be something like this. Here there is a 10 ohm resistor. And then this diode is in its forward biasing. So it is behaving like a closed circuit. So this resistor is of 10 ohm value. Now as we can see that this diode D2 is in its reverse biasing. So in reverse biasing, this diode will behave like an open circuit. So here this is a resistor and diode D2 behaving like an open circuit. So this is the equivalent. This is 10 ohm resistor, 10 volt battery. Now if in this circuit we are asked to find the value of current I, we can easily find its value. As we can see, this 10 ohm resistor and this 10 ohm resistor are connected in series. So its equivalent would be 10 plus 10, 20 ohm. This branch is open circuit, so we simply need to remove this branch. So this 20 ohm and this 10 ohm resistor are in parallel. So its equivalent value would be 10 into 20 divided by 10 plus 20, 30. So this is the equivalent resistance which is seen by this 10 volt battery. So the value of I is equal to V upon R equivalent. Here the value of V is 10 volt. R equivalent is 200 by 30. So here would be 200. 30 would be in numerator. So its value come out to be 300 divided by 200 or its value would be 1.5 ampere so the value of current which is flowing through this battery would be 1.5 ampere so this is how we can solve the problem where the diodes are connected so if you still have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel doubt forum see you in the next video till then take care bye bye